what's going on guys it is thursday april 5th and you're riding with your wife can find me up up in a way i give a f about your wave my neck i surf every day drowning my soul in the basement like i ain't got much in the bank i got a lot i can say got up with goddess to say i hope you forgive my mistakes oh, yeah. all right so i've got 10 uh, weekly properties to go take care of today it's actually all the all that's on the schedule for today um as of right now uh, we're still adding a couple properties but we're not actually gonna be doing a ton of them there's a reason we're kind of cutting back on the lawn care side of things and we're gonna start doing some other things along the way so i've actually got some stuff in the works with um doing some video work with some local businesses some real estate agents um, different things this winter has been horrible here in central north carolina normally we start back working middle of february uh, this year it was still snowing here and bitterly cold the end of March. Uh, this is really the first week we've had a decent weather uh, all year, except for one one week in February we had some really good weather. Outside of that, our weather sucked, and you know we're like everybody else. We put up a winter fund, um, and that winter fund is you know based off of basically what has happened in the past right winter went about two months longer this year than normal uh, and then the transmission went out in this pickup truck last week so i'm just getting that back today it's the first day hooking to the trailer with the uh, new transmission in the truck so with all that happening it really made me think about where where are all my streams of income and i realized that they're all wound up in one thing and I really wasn't happy with that, so I'm actually gonna put uh, some things together to basically get some money coming in from other sources. Um, and one of the biggest things is I want to have something that I can do during the winter time uh, and also through the summertime, keep cash flowing, you know, year round. Scared of nothing, so don't push the button like them long legged girls with curls and tight jeans. And they love cold beer around here with chicken wings. Baby, this new country is all about me. But I love some Johnny Cash, Wayland, and Willie. Respect the old school, we'll make room for the new. Now tell me you don't love what this country boy can do. To go get a skull spitter with a lot of style. Big boy, so cool, I make all them girls smile. So tell me what you need, no cold to make it happen. Things are changing, we got a country boy rapping. Holla, get high, then we saddle up, get your money right. When they're talking about the South, they call it dirty, baby. Dirty, we baby. raise them cheese grits, biscuits, and gravy. And we gravy. say, sir or ma'am, and we don't give a damn. If you like it or not, we gon' hold our spot. Yes, Could sir. be Crown of Coke or maybe Jack and Sprite. A case of cool as light, and it's on tonight. Yes, we're song. talking about a party down on Johnson Farm. Late night country crumb, but we don't mean no harm. That's just how we do. So tell me what you want. What Some you say the wheel was still most on. No, they don't. Keep it banging till the sun come up. Hear the rooster crow, then it's time to go. It's got horses that need breaking and cows that need Pinning. I do what it takes to keep them girls grinning. Hey, Every girl crazy about a bow legged boy That's in right. tight jeans and boots and uh, rope rides uh, and shoes. We holler, get high, and then we saddle up, get your money right, then you add it up. We grab the bull by the horn, make it bag it up. We holler, get high, and then we saddle up. We holler, get high, and then we saddle up, get your money right, then you add it up. We grab the bull by the horn, make it bag it up. We holler, get high, and then we saddle up. 
my doctor, hey, it's boy. harder, baby. Get your swerve on. Swerve. You wanna come, get your boots, put your spurs on. Spurs it's about on. to go down. down. And it's the low down. down. Gonna spread the word, we about to have a whole down. Hey. It's a party, coke crib, baby, come by. Come you by. wanna saddle up? Hey. I give you one try. One and try. you a cowgirl, so I know you know. I know you know. How to hold on and ride like the rodeo. Now nah, we ain't done yet, now nah. pretty silhouette. Hey. Hope me and you can ride off in the sunset. I wanna get you all alone, long. girl, I can't wait nah. to get you nah. to my home. I got 35 acres. It's not quite 40, but I'm hung like a mule. Like and if you got some friends, and they can come. They can come. We do it like they do it on the Ponderosa with a bunch of alcohol and hey. our guns. Hey. Host, we holler. And then we saddle up, get your money right. Then you add it up. We grab the bull by the horns, make it back it up. We holler. And then we saddle up, we holler. And then we saddle up, get your money right. Then you add it up. We grab the bull by the horns, make it back it up. We holler. And then we saddle up. Hey, it's a part of base. Get your swerve on. You wanna come, get your boots, put your spurs on. Hey, it's a part of base. Get your swerve on. You wanna come, get your boots, put your spurs on. Hey, it's a part of base. I got done with that first property. It took about 32 minutes according to my timer from the time I got out of my truck to the time I got back in it on my Jobber software app on my second smartphone that I keep in a little holder. And uh, I'm actually going to show you all that real quick. I've had some questions about that, how that exactly works. Um, I'm going to blur some stuff out in post so that you can't see everything. But um, I'm just going to take a quick second. I'm going to show you that and show you how that works. So this is what I'm using. This is Jobber. This is on the uh, smartphone. So this is my schedule for the day. I got it all laid out in here. Uh, this is the property we're about to do. So what I'll do is I'll click on that. And then I'll actually see here it says start timer. So I'll click that. It actually starts a timer. And when it starts that timer, it actually geolocates you to your location. So it has mapped me to sitting right here at that property when I hit that button. Now, when I hit the stop timer, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to geolocate me back to this exact location. So, as I've had, and I'm probably sure everybody's experienced at some point, a client saying, I don't think you were here. My yard doesn't look like it was cut. Yeah, yards don't magically cut themselves. So, you know, but 
everybody has that one that's going to question you. What I do is I go into this software. Uh, it's getjobber.com. It's jobber software. I go into that. I pull that out, and I can say, hey, look. I was sitting at your property this day at this time for this length of time. I was here from here to here. And it geolocates me and maps me to that location. So basically, I've done away with the, oh, I don't know when you were here or I don't know if you really came. Uh, I had a woman pull that with me the other day. That was her reason. We've been working on this property for 30 days. And she's decided to give her 30-day notice. So... She, uh, I said, well, you know, what have we done? I said, we're brand new to the property. You know, it, it takes time for us to get used to it, get used to exactly what you're looking for, you know, et cetera, whatever. Um, she said, well, I don't know when you were here or if you really came or not. Busted her wide open. Number one, all but one time I've been to that property, she's actually came out and spoke to me uh, and had stupid little requests. Like the last time was to uh, unhook a water hose and throw it in the garbage. Um, uh, one time was to unhook a drop cord. Yeah, she Just little dumb stuff, right? But she doesn't know when I was there. So I pulled this information from Jobber, emailed it to her, she's, and then she come back with a list of other dumb, petty stuff that she was firing us for now. Um, so really she has no reason. Uh, her, her word for my yard looks amazing, the best it's looked in years, but you didn't pick up a stick or there was a stick left or just something, you know, like a twig or a pine cone. Well, you know, we all know, I can go out here and pick up everything in this yard, cut it, leave, and two hours later, there could be a pine cone or, or a stick in it. Um, it just happens, you know. So, I'm just like, whatever. Um, take it as a loss really doesn't bother me because I've already added three new clients um, since she told me this on Monday. Um, no. I added three new clients by Tuesday. I've actually added five new ones uh, as of yesterday evening. Um, so, and waiting on two more quotes that I put out. So anyway, I'm going to get on this yard. I'm actually going to set the camera up, let it get some footage while we're cutting. Um, we'll see you later. All that, all that. To tell you all that, tell old boy he call back, send a text, they fall back. Cause I can see you got a thing for the fast life. So come on, shorty, let me show you what the fast life. Whipping across the border, Florida in the Georgia. Cause baby, you a song and you make me wanna roll my windows down and cruise down a bag of road, blowing stop signs through the middle every hood, every town. With you and this drop top Chevy painted real slick. Picked a place up for 1500 bucks back in 1964. My grandfather was a drinker back in the day, he put him down. But a war is known to change a man, and the whiskey is known to change a man. That's not me. I rarely drink from the bottle, but I'll smoke a little weed. I still live in the sticks where you wouldn't go. In a town of 1200 off an old dirt road. And a country boy is 
is all I'll ever be. Now it's been 12 years since I sold my soul to the devil in LA. He said, sign your name here on the dotted line and your songs they all will play. He set up shop on sunset. You want to sell a million records, boy You better listen to me 